the, the days of the arrangement uh, of the exhibition are the most exciting days. Uh, perhaps the most, we are really tired in this moment and you see a lot of people coming uh, in the camera. Uh, but um, uh, it, it's something like a great gift to open the chases and to see uh, directly, face to face, uh, the, the, the paintings, the drawings, the sculptures. with the direction of the National Museum of Fine Arts uh, for this occasion that follows the preceding occasion of the so charming uh, exhibition of the Madonna Esterazzi by Raffaello in our town hall during Christmas time of the past year. But I feel that the real great surprise for a large part of Italian public um, will be, uh, without doubts, the um, female portrait by Ripl Ronay. Uh, this is exciting and totally unknown by uh, Italian public. He's so fantastic, so fantastic. Because I think it's one of the one of the few paintings in in the collection that really represents in a European style. Do you know what I mean? He's a European. He shows as a real European painter, really influenced by symbolism. Yes, yes, yes. The color, I mean, the color and the intensity of the color in terms of expressing a sentiment is just so sim similar to the Belgian symbolists, like Ferdinand Knopf. And there's another guy, I can't remember his name, but don't say that, don't put that one in. But um, the fact that the colour is expressing a certain type of emotion and a certain type of symbol to the public is so important in this country. No, the, most, the wonderful thing about these two paintings, for me, is that they really represent a period when Hungary was with the Austrian-Hungarian Empire and there was the secession movement and symbolism. They really are showing the painters were watching what was going on in the world. And this is what's come up with great paintings. Great paintings. <laughs>